Some New York City students are still without computers almost a full year into the pandemic. The Bronx Borough President's Office is trying to make sure every student gets one. CBS News' Natalie Dudrich with more. Do you promise to be the best student that you can be? Yes. Do you promise that you can represent the Bronx and take over the whole world? Yes. Yeah. Joel is in sixth grade and so excited to finally have a computer 12 months after his school first shut down due to the pandemic. I could keep this. Yeah. He's one of 30 students at MS337 and among 1,000 students throughout the Bronx getting new Chromebooks that they don't have to return at the end of the school year. I could actually focus a lot more on school now. Bronx-based Adnim Foundation donated $200,000 to buy the 1,000 computers, and the Bronx Borough President's Office helped identify the students most in need. Before, I've had troubles. Like, I use an iPad. I have troubles getting on the main and getting work done. A lot of students have been using their own phones or their parents to do schoolwork. He can actually talk to his teacher and listen because his teacher couldn't hear him online. So it's been difficult also on the phone, too. And he has an iPhone, but it's so small. The Bronx has about 200,000 students total. As of January, roughly 84,000 computers had been given out. That means some students already had their own computers, but many don't. The Bronx Borough President's Office says it's still receiving hundreds of phone calls from parents saying their children never received devices. The need is still the tens of thousands, and that's terrible. It's horrible. It's unacceptable. Diaz says he's also hopeful that the new school's chancellor, Misha Ross Porter, will help students get internet access. That's another big issue. Many of these kids may have these devices, but may not have Wi Fi. While school officials work on that issue, parents say they expect their kids to get to work on homework results. Better give me good grades. In the Soundview section of the Bronx, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.